Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February. So we're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these first for an overall energy. So what do we have for Pisces for the month of February? What do we have for Pisces? You know, I feel like there's romance in the air for you, Pisces, because I just saw the rose, you know. And I've been seeing the roses a lot lately. I don't know why. Maybe I, maybe I, yeah. Uh, I don't know why. Anyhow, but let's see. One card for Pisces, please. Something, you know, I see the stars. The star is guaranteed success. A wish being granted for you. Family and tribe. Interesting. Interesting. So, something about your family and your tribe this month. We're going to read that card. We are, we are. It's a 20. Something to do with the, uh, with the 20. Or the 20th or something like that. Alright. So, family and tribe. Be very discerning with other people's opinions. Beware Become aware of how the beliefs of your family and tribe are influencing you. What did you learn about relationships, money, and opportunities when you were younger? Ask yourself, am I still carrying some of those outdated beliefs? Am I trying to seek love and approval from my family by doing what they want me to do? An important question to ask yourself is whether you are living your life in order to make someone else or yourself happy. This card asks you to examine your loyalties, family beliefs, superstitions, and rituals that have power over you. Let go of anything that is not serving you. You are also being asked to face your fears of being different and embrace your uniqueness, even if others don't understand or approve of your actions. You gotta do what's right for you. I've said that, haven't I? Often working with your energy centers, in particular the root chakra, can help you release past limitations and hurts, increase your confidence, and help you manifest your desires into physical reality. Don't do what your family thinks that you should do. Do not let them choose your future. What's, what's your, what is acceptable to your family? That's a sad ending. That's crazy that that came up because I know that's a big issue. Interesting. Oh, we're going to get a couple of these. Let's get a couple of these. Two of these. Oh, look at that. We got three. I think we should take them. We got two, right? What do we got? Bridge. Successfully overcoming a problem. Woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman. So you are going to be dealing with a woman, obviously. Or the person you're dealing with is uh, dealing uh, is dealing with another woman. Shark. Ha. Ooh. Take care. Or there will be a loss of material wealth. Oh, boy. You could be dealing with a woman who is a shark and she is just after you for your money. Not good. Well. So be careful. Be really, really, really careful. Um, successfully overcoming a problem. So you're obviously going to overcome this, whatever it is. We got this woman. Looks like she's a dark-haired woman. We are dealing with a dark-haired woman. If you don't be careful, you're going to lose something. She's, she's very tricky, very sneaky, whoever this woman is. She does have dark hair. And, hmm. So what do we have for Pisces for the month of February? 
messaging eight of wands now this is this is going to be your overall energy right now you moving very fast doing things quickly there's probably you're probably communicating effectively you're talking you're not holding things in king of pentacles you could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn but this person is a challenge doesn't have to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but finances, money, job, business is a challenge. Or this is somebody that you're dealing with. It is reverse. Your challenge is holding on to your stability. You could be dealing with dealing with somebody that is communicating with somebody else. Okay, because that is communication. This challenge is this earth sign, but it doesn't have to be an earth sign. There's some sort of, uh, I mean, I would say that this is in reversed. So this person is not being loyal. This person is not being loyal. This person is not stable. This person may need your money or may need something that you are giving them financially. Um, this is unstable, insecure. This is somebody who does things illegally against the law, you know. Very materialistic. Interesting. So somebody that is very, very materialistic. That's what, that is what your challenge is. Now that could be you. Somebody have somebody here that is very much focused on their money and materialistic items. There's going to be a loss. And I think it's going to be a financial loss right here and right here. There's going to be some sort of financial loss. And I'm sorry, Pisces. I know that you definitely don't want to hear this. But it looks like... And this has to do with some sort of karma. I know that it does. So, yeah, there's going to be a financial loss. I think there's a lot of pettiness. There's a lot of fighting right here in the past. That's fighting. That's petty behavior. That's childish games. Playing games with somebody. There's been a, a lot of competition Karma always uh, doesn't watches everything that goes on, and I, this may have to do with a family situation. Uh, there's definitely been a lot of fighting and petty behavior in the past. Game, playing games. Somebody has played a lot of games. Oh, in the future. Ah, ooh. So the overall outcome of this month is an exciting new opportunity. Okay, so you have a new exciting opportunity that is coming in by the end of this month. You're gonna probably may, you may become free. Okay, you may become free of a situation that's a fresh start, starting from scratch. Um, it's an, an exciting opportunity uh, to step into something new. So you do have at by the end of this month, you will uh, be feeling better. Uh, You definitely are going to be starting from scratch in the future. This is starting from scratch. This is freedom, okay? This is freedom starting from scratch, starting fresh. Uh, it's an exciting, very, you have an exciting, by the end of this month, you're going to be feeling free. You're going to be excited about the future, okay, by the end of this month. I feel like uh, below you, this is letting something go. So this is this is letting something go. It's time to relax. It's time to let it go. You can't hold on to it anymore. I think there's going to be some sort of loss, okay? Right soon, very, very soon. It's like there's a financial loss or something that is going to cost you money or somebody could even be leaving, okay? Because it's just, there's, there's uh, somebody made a poor decision. They made a poor choice. Um, there's a fall, okay? There's going to be a fall. Some there's there's something falling apart, falling away, slipping away. You can't fight it. You can't prevent it from happening. You can't hang on anymore. This needs to go. So something is in the very, very, very near future, if not happening right now. Something is is uh, lacking balance. There's uh, Somebody has been overextending themselves. There's too much. There's chaos. Uh, it's a mess. So right now, somebody's experiencing some sort of uh, messy situation that is falling apart. I have to be honest with you. Right now. Right now. If not right now, in the very, 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 very near future. But I think this loss, whatever it is that you're losing, is for the best. Because you're going to feel relief. Once it's gone, you're going to feel relief. You're dealing with a very stressful situation right now. I think that you're stressed. You're feeling overwhelmed. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe I, 
I gave this my energy. I gave this my time. I even dealt with this. I feel like you're like, wow. You may be feeling, you know, um, really depressed. Maybe you're feeling guilty or somebody you're dealing with is. This is feeling guilty, feeling, uh, maybe you're ashamed of yourself. Maybe, or somebody you're dealing with is ashamed. This can always go vice versa. This is it feeling like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe I did this. I can't believe, I can't believe it. You know, uh, just, this is too much for me. I, I wish I never did this. Something like that. That's what I feel like this is. So that's the overall energy as well. I think you are having a hard time letting go of somebody and maybe it's because of financial reasons. You know, this person helped you financially or you helped them financially. There's financial uh, assets or something like that that is in the way of your happiness, put it that way. Um, but I do see you guys in the future uh, becoming free, becoming more carefree, uh, starting from scratch, starting over, leaving the past behind, leaving whatever it is behind. Okay, starting a new adventure, um, moving forward, uh, stepping forward with blind faith, you know, stepping into unknown territory and leaving that crap behind. Okay, so I think you do ha definitely have a new beginning here by the end of the month. In your environment, you are probably dealing with somebody that is very forceful. Okay, you're dealing with somebody who forces their will. This person is, um, for some of you, if you are single, if you are single, you may be having a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that you are dealing with. This person is um, exuberant, or this could be you. Okay, you could be coming this person who gets excited for life, that is ready for a new adventure, that is, is taking a new adventure. This person is adventurous. This person is passionate. This person is um, strong and determined and energetic, high energy. And this could be you. You could be taking on this energy of, uh, you know... It's like rejuvenation, you know, increasing your vibration. You may be becoming more positive, thinking more positive. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who is very positive that is in your environment and you just want to be with that person. Um, maybe you're working on your health. You're trying to better your health this month. Uh, I think you're definitely going through some changes and you're going through some big changes. Uh, this is uh, evolved. Okay, you're evolving. The temperance uh, is after death, after something ends. So yes, there is definitely something ending here. Something that has cost you. It's cost you a lot of money, whatever it is. It's cost you money. It's cost you... Uh, it's caused you not just cause, okay, let me just say this better. It's caused you a lot of stress and it has cost you a lot of money. It's, it's ending, okay, because the death comes before the temperance. This allows you to, it's taught you some things as well. It's taught you some sort of life lesson, okay? It's, it's caused you to become a different person. It's, you're not the same person that you used to be because of whoever this person is that you were dealing with. You're just not that person. And you're, you're, you're a completely different person now, right? So this, this was a transformation and you had to experience some sort of, uh, drastic situation to become this new you. And I think that you have, I think that you're not the same person that you used to be. I think that something has ended or it's about to end. And now you are taking a new journey. All right. You've learned something from that. You're ready to uh, accept change. You're ready for peace. You're ready for harmony. Uh, you're ready to, uh, make some compromises in your life to do whatever it takes to bring peace and harmony to your life. I feel like right now you are being called to accept whatever you are letting go of as a lesson learned, you know, accept that that had to happen to build your character, to make you, uh, ready for whatever comes next. Okay. So I think that's what's happening. I think this month you are probably accepting and cutting your losses and, 
moving forward into a more peaceful, uh, carefree uh, future, okay? So I see that you've learned something big from another person that may have used you because it feels like you've been used. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's what it feels like to me. So um, I think that you've learned something. You're not the same person and you're ready for something better. You're ready for something more along your vibration, you know, something that vibrates better with you. I think you've been through a very stressful situation, okay? I see that you have, but that's over. It's done. It's over. And I feel, think you've, you know, you know, the Ten of Swords, that is, you've been through some pain. You have. It's been painful. I think that you've been betrayed by somebody. You may be uh, feeling broken down. Maybe you've been through some sort of catastrophe. Um... People have been talking behind your back. People have been causing you a lot of stress, but it's over. This is your death, okay? It's over. It's and, and, you know, now it's accepting. It's accepting that it's over and standing up. It's standing up and walking away. So I think right now, um, you know, there's... It, 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 I mean, the Ten of Swords is a death. It is a death. So, you know, I think that you are, are probably still needing to heal, okay? You're needing to heal from this catastrophe or this disaster that you have been involved in. So right now, I think that you are probably uh, feeling a little down. And you are probably uh, still in the energy of feeling the pain. I just... This is in your hopes and fears position. You're probably... You know, still thinking about what happened during this month. You're probably still in that area of, oh my God, I can't believe this. And that's what it is. I can't believe that this has happened. This is shocking to you. I think that it is. You may, you may be feeling like you just give up. You give up. I give up. I give up. I give up. You know, but I have to tell you that you have an exciting new beginning. This is, this is a blessing in disguise that whatever this is, is leaving your life. Because this is an, a fresh start. You are about to start on a new journey that is going to be peaceful. It is going to be harmonious. You may be fearful of getting hurt again. You may be feeling like, you know, you're never going to be happy or, you know, feeling doubtful. You may be feeling like, you know, why, why, why? That's what I feel like. Why, is why, 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 why me? You know, feeling like, you know, I can't trust anybody ever again. I think this was a lesson that you needed to learn. It, unfortunately, it is. It's a lesson about compromise. It's a lesson about um, not jumping and not, you know, not acting impulsively, not um, competition. This because this is in the past about being overly competitive, you know. stubbornness as well because this is a very stubborn energy perhaps this lesson is about stubbornness maybe maybe you know it's not about money it's not about uh social pressure it's not about things because i see very materialistic energy here it's not about all those things it's not where's the love in these cards can anybody tell me there isn't any none The best things in life aren't things. And I have that on my refrigerator. You've probably seen it. Somebody has anyway. Anyhow, um, it's not. And maybe that was the lesson to be learned. Some of you are becoming single. Free. And it's exciting. Do not let your family and your friends pick your future. Because it's socially acceptable. Maybe maybe that's why you had to prove yourself with materialistic items. I'm not saying that's for everybody. But we have somebody here that is very materialistic. Because of the family. The best thing in, li in life isn't things. Seriously. 
So anyway, I feel like this month you have an exciting opportunity to break free. I think that you are going to be breaking free from something and you're going to be feeling free. You're going to be excited for the future. You're going to be t stepping into unknown territory, someplace you haven't been in a long time. And that may be freedom from whatever this situation is that has, you know, consumed you. It has definitely consumed you. I think you've been used. I think you have been used by somebody just perhaps for your money. Or your stability or what you had to offer them. But I think that I see you regaining your vigor, regaining your vitality, regaining yourself. It's like, that's what this is. It's like, I'm, I, I'm finding your confidence and your self-worth and your self-esteem to stand up for yourself now. So I think that, you know, you've been taken advantage of by somebody and I see you taking control of the situation and, or so this person, somebody's leaving. I do see, there's a loss here. Um, and there's an exciting new opportunity that is coming in for you. There is. So it ends on a good note and you are going to be, you're probably going to be very happy with the change happy with the release whatever this release is is going to make you feel good it's going to be like whew, relief release and relief but definitely be careful with that shark card okay i know that I did. i'm telling you what you are definitely dealing with a shark so beware beware pisces um good luck